As you have noticed, we have representatives from many of the 13 Appalachian states. Here from North Carolina and representing Appalachian State University from the Department of Marketing and Supply Chain Demand and specializing in social media influence, please welcome Christy Cook. to become insiders of your daily life. And conversely, you enter their lives by way of video influence, information, and entertainment. The nominees for best blogger are Austin Shock. What the Shock. <laughs> Renee Cobb, Overtones Live. And Miss Presley with Celebrating Appalachia. <laughs> and this year's 2022 award goes to Best Blogger, Tipper Presley with Celebrating Appalachia. <laughs> dark hollers. It's just a wonderful place. I'd love to thank God too for his many blessings and his mercy and thank for my family for their support. Over the weekend, I got to travel to Prestonsburg, Kentucky to be part of the Appalachian Arts and Entertainment Awards for 2022. It's also known as the Appy Awards. Several weeks ago, I found out that I was nominated for the Best Vlogger, Best Vlogger category, and I was just thrilled. I was so honored to even be nominated. But over the weekend, I was even more excited to win. I actually won the award. Isn't it, isn't it just beautiful? So this means so much to me. For the last 14 years, I've worked very hard at both celebrating and preserving our wonderful Appalachian heritage and culture. Um, you know, when you think about the, from our, our rich, colorful language that I'm just plum foolish about, our wonderful, amazing food ways that just are so tasty and give such sustenance to our bodies, the amazing landscape, I mean, the mountains of Appalachia, they just never get old. No matter how many times I look at them, no matter how many times I see the creeks and the rivers and the, uh, the little branches, all of it, it just never gets old to me. I love it all. Then you think about our music. Lots of musicians were um, recognized at the award ceremony. Our music just speaks to my soul. I grew up in a very musical family, traditional Appalachian music, so that's something that's near and dear to me. And I know that other people feel like this about where they come from, and they should. All cultures are wonderful and valuable uh, and should be honored, I think. And so it was just really uh, rewarding and, and thrilling to be recognized for the work that I'm doing in trying to celebrate Appalachia. Me and the girls, the girls went with me, Corey and Katie. We'd never been to anything like this, so we didn't know what to expect. We knew it was a black tie affair uh, with a red carpet even. We got to walk down the red carpet. But we are typically not involved in something that elaborate, so we were just thrilled to be part of it. Uh, and kind of in awe, all the beautiful dresses and the men in suits and um, the amazing entertainment that they offered, it was just a lovely experience and just kind of really um, out of our comfort zone, but so wonderful at the same time to get to be part of it. And everyone was so very nice. Um, I loved meeting the people that was uh, had worked really hard to make sure the show come off, that kind of the behind the scenes 
um, folks that made it all happen. And I will put a, and down below in the description, I'll put a link so you can go see all the different sponsors who actually comes together to actually make sure that it does happen. The ones that actually developed the whole ceremony, uh, the whole awards program, I should say, to recognize people from those Appalachian uh, states but it was also really rewarding to meet a few people who told me that they watched my videos. It was very nice. Uh, made me feel very special. One gentleman shared that he, he no longer lives in Kentucky, lives across, across the country, and that he likes to watch them because they make him think of family and home. Um, one of the ladies that actually worked at the Mountain Arts Center, that's where the event was held, she told me that every time I talk about Granny and Paps, it reminded her of her grandparents that she dearly loved, and she really enjoyed my videos. Another gentleman told me that he was from Kentucky, and um, he sounded a lot like me, and he said that he, he liked them because he could see that they were authentic, that we were just being who we are, which that one really pleased me because we are just who we are. Um, and that's something Pap and Granny taught me growing up, my brothers and I, not to be proud of proud like we were better than anybody else, but just to be happy, be proud in that Appalachian sense that we use, like proud to be here, that just to be proud of who we are and where we come from and be happy with who we were and, and where we come from. Um, so his comment really, really made me feel good, made me think that, that Pap would be proud of that one. As I said, we didn't, you know, I had no clue what to expect, never been to anything like that. So I kind of had a little short speech just in case because I didn't want to not have anything to say. And in my little short speech, I was going to think and say this was, this was for the people like you who watch my videos, the people who read my blog, all those people that have been with me from the beginning um, who feel like about Appalachia like I do, who are just crazy in love with it. And I had some other things I was going to say, but at the, we figured out, thank goodness I didn't go first. <laughs> the first person that went, it was obvious they had a time limit, so they kind of cut her off, the, the music come back on. So then I was like, oh no, I only have like, uh, and then a few other ones kind of said, I had a speech, but I only have 20 seconds. So then I thought, well, I better, I better make it short and sweet. So I didn't get to say my, my speech, but that was okay. I understood there were so many awards, it would have took all night if everyone had got to give a speech. Um, but I did want to say thank you to you and to the blog readers. Uh, Y'all are the ones that, that make what I do possible. And you're the ones that support me. Um, whether it is folks like the, the gentleman that had moved away from Appalachia and, and really missed that. A lot of people will tell me they just come to Appalachia when they were young to visit grandparents and they, they had such fond memories. Uh, or people like me who are, who are like, I'm, I live in Appalachia and I could never live nowhere else. This is my home. And, you know, whether I live in a holler or um, down in one of the little towns or whatever, it's just my home and I could never live anywhere but the Appalachian Mountains. Then, of course, there's the people that's never been here, the uh, people that just have read about it. Maybe they've seen it on TV. Maybe they uh, were doing their genealogy and they realized, oh goodness, three grandfathers back lived in Appalachia. And maybe that's why I recognize so many words and, and things that Tipper talks about because they, they left, but they took all that with them. Um, as we do when we move. We take our culture, our foods, our words, all those things with us. So, so many different reasons people tune in to watch, uh, but I'm just thankful that you do tune in to watch and tune in to read what I write on a daily basis. So I didn't really get to say it there, but it is true. Uh, this award means so much to me, but it's really just as, as much for you if you're watching my videos and for you if you read my blog, because I couldn't do any of this without you.